check this out. You can see the mussels anchored at the top of this tide pool and here are the sea stars lurking just underneath them. These mortal enemies are within a few centimeters of each other. A sea star propels itself toward its prey on hundreds of tiny tube feet. It only has a few short hours to fill its stomach before the tide goes out. Now, it will use those tube feet to lock the mussel in a death grip, to force open its shell. If you can pick up a sea star that's feeding. Oh yeah, you can really see that. The tube feet are really pulling on that muscle. They actually have to attach with their tube feet to each side of the muscle, because the muscle has this really strong adductor muscle mm. inside mm -hmm. that holds it shut. Right. The sea star only needs a tiny crack. Then, amazingly, the predator ejects its own stomach and forces it inside the muscle. It dissolves the muscle's flesh into a gastric soup, then devours it. It's essentially like if you were to get a plate of food and just drop your stomach out over your food, and then digest it all up and then bring it all back in. 